Uh, yep, looks like you're okay. recording. Okay. Okay, that's showing recording. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, I've got the attendance. Why don't you go ahead? Uh, so we do not need roll call at this point. Is that right? Why don't Why don't you just do it? Let's follow the regular protocols. Okay. Let's uh, Let's we'll start with Kim so and go around the room. Here. Kim, you there? I don't see you. There we go. David? David Schwartz. Sorry, I'm having audio problems. If I remember correctly, Jill is next. Jill Plamper. Uh, how about Jill Ingber? I'm here, Jill Ingber. And Rick? Rick Bowen. And sorry, I'm scrolling through as we're doing this. And Jeff is not here. Is that it, Hank? Did I miss anybody? Sheldon. Oh, hey, Sheldon. Sorry. Yeah, I'm here. Sheldon Cohn. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so first issue is matter of consideration of temporary modification to city meeting policies and procedures. Uh, I would imagine that's what this is all about, Hank. We that is a, correct. A, what we need okay. is a motion to modify the rules to... Uh, I uh, have a temporary modification of city meetings and policies and procedures uh, to allow the electronic meeting for this evening. Okay, do we have a motion? I'll move to allow temporary modification to the city meeting policies and procedures so that we can electronically conduct today's meeting. Second. Thank you, is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Okay, I got the second. Who made the motion? I did. Uh, Gillingberg. Jill. Okay. All right. For some reason, I'm having real trouble hearing, but okay. <laughs> so uh, the second item on the agenda then is going to be the uh, approval of the minutes. It uh, looks like you've got approval of agenda have. today, Hank. Right, yeah, okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, so uh, next is approval of tonight's agenda. Uh, can I get a motion? This is Kim, I approve the agenda as presented, or move to approve the agenda as presented. Thank you, Kim, can I have a second? A second. Got that, Hank? Yeah. Okay. Uh, next, we're looking for approval of minutes for February 24th, 2020. You want to take a vote on that last one, Mike? Sorry. <laughs> I might as well, I guess. Oh, here. Uh, <laughs> all in favor of uh, approval of tonight's agenda? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Thank you. Okay, then moving on to approval of minutes from February 24th, 2020. Any uh, additions, changes otherwise? Hank, anything we need to look for on these? No, uh, that's, uh, Heidi does our minutes now. So the only thing is if there's something that you see that's glaringly missing or anything like that, let me know. Okay. Um, and I'll have her change it. I looked at them before, they look okay to me. Uh, can we get a motion to approve? Move to approve. Was that a shell? Okay. Sheldon made the motion. Who's got a second? I'll second. Kim. Kim has a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All, all opposed? Okay, all set there. I would, like, I would like to abstain since I was not present at this February meeting. I would, I would as well. That's two Jills abstain. <laughs> Good. Give us enough votes. I, I, yeah, I wrote it just like that, two Jills. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> one, two, three. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, on to the real business. Matter of changes to approved site plan by Ron Yoles and Laura Herselhorn at 13124 Vernon. I hope I didn't butcher those names too bad. Just moderately bad, but that's okay. <laughs> we, we, we appreciate you all meeting. Y Yolas and Hirshhorn. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Hank, do you want to kick this off or would you like them to? 
Well, actually, um, Richard Ziski, their architect, is here uh, online with us, and perhaps he just wants to go over quickly what the revisions to the plan were. Again, this is something that's coming back before you because the plan has changed, and the changes actually make the building smaller, but they are changes to the outside, so it's a different structure than what you saw before. So let's let Mr. Ziski uh, do his explanation, and then I'll have some comments. Um, good evening, everybody. Uh, let me just recap quickly when we were approved. After that, we uh, put the uh, drawings out for bid and it came back over budget. So we looked into how we could reduce the budget. Uh, and that's what you have for you tonight. Uh, our goal was to keep the exterior as close as possible to the original Prairie School design. Um, the main points that we did in, uh, in reducing the plan was we went from a three car down to a two car garage. We reduced the width of the uh, pro uh, width of the house by four foot four and the depth by two foot four feet. That took out approximately 266 square feet. Uh, we did things like reduce the scale of the front porch. Uh, we changed some windows, and I can get into those if you want to be more specific. But in, in overall, that's approximately what we did to the house plan. Uh, we also, while doing this, reduced our footprint from uh, just under 18% to uh, approximately 16%. So I'll open it back to the commissioners and answer any questions. Thanks, Ron. Um, Hank, anything to add there? Yeah, just one other thing, too, is if you notice the percentage of lot coverage that he's talking about is not really substantial. They're allowed up to a uh, 20 or up to a 30 percent lot coverage, and they're nowhere near that. So the house was never a problem with respect to that. The only other uh, issue with it is, is that, you know, there were some windows that were altered. Uh, the house looks fine, but because it's not the structure that you approved, you have to actually approve the changes. So because the contract, like when they approve something for the planning commission, that's what they're expected to build. That's like a contract with the city. So because this is different, um, I would open it up for any questions you might have, you know, that Mr. Zinski could answer. I'm sure that uh, Ron or Laura would answer any questions. But other than that, it, it's, it's the same thing, only smaller and scaled down is really what it is. Okay, great, thank you. Uh, we will open it up for public participation. I think we had one member of the public on if they wish to speak. Hi, this is Pam Stewart. I'm just here for informational purposes. No questions. Okay, great. Thanks so much. All right, we'll close public participation and uh, we'll start with uh, Rick. Uh, I don't have any questions or concerns. Thank you. Uh, Jill Plamper. Hi, um, I have no concerns. I looked the plans over in great detail. It looks fantastic. I like the windows going around. I like the fact that you've stepped the second floor in. Um, I think it looks great. No, no issues. Thank you. Uh, Jill Ingber. I agree. I have, I have no concerns with the plan as modified. Thank you. Blake. Uh, I have no concerns. It looked great. Thank you. David. No issues. Looks good. Thank you. And Kim. Looks good to me. Thank you. Thanks Did for I the thorough any? explanation to um, Richard. That cover letter was helpful. You're quite welcome. I thought it would be easier for you to understand if you wrote everything down for you specifically. Yeah. So. Agree. Uh, did I miss anybody? I think I got everybody. Me. Sheldon. Yeah. I, oh, I, Sheldon, no I keep forgetting about I'm, you, Sheldon. I'm sorry. Okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm used to it. <laughs> It's just like being at home. Um, <laughs> oh, wait, you are. I yeah. feel like you are at home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No issues at all. It's fine. All right. I don't have any issues either. I think it's great. Thanks again for the explanation. Uh, uh, look good. Uh, can I get a motion? Move to approve the plan as the revised plan is presented. Anyone like to second? Second. Uh, all in favor? Who was, this, who was the oh, second? Second. Second with Jill Plamper. Okay. Okay, can I uh, get a vote? Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? 
Okay, carries. Thank well, you. thank you very much, right. and appreciate you coming out on this stormy night. <laughs> <laughs> thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you all very much, and we'll we'll be good neighbors and follow safe building practices. <laughs> it looks like and we're going to be able to get. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be able to get rolling soon too. So that's a good thing. Yeah, I was um, going to actually ask you about that, Hank. Is there any update that you can? We're, we're actually kind of thinking that like when this next order expires or sooner the contractors will be allowed to go back to work so there will be some protocol the, the press conference that they had today or the governor speaking today she said that uh contractors are would be the next batch to go yeah no i saw it. It, it it didn't give a date certain but i'm sure that there'll be upcoming updates on it so we'll get them and as soon as we do we're going to do this which brings me to my next point of business um as long as i have everybody's attention here we have a lot of like as of right now if everything comes in that is said that they're going to come in for may i got five site plan reviews including a new house um before may even hits so one of a couple things is going to happen with this one is a couple will drop off, which sometimes happen. They can't get their plans in. Or I'm going to have to ask the planning commission for perhaps an additional meeting or to waive the rules to allow more than five for the next planning commission meeting. And the reason is, is that once this lifts, we're going to be deluged with uh, people wanting permits, plans, and stuff to get going on it. So I would like to kind of get a feel what the pleasure of the planning commission is because um, we're already losing a month getting in the ground. So um, what are some of your thoughts on that? Um, my thought is if in order to accommodate the residents that are needing to do this, my suggestion is that we either add a meeting or extend the meeting. My question related to that is whether or not somehow the uh, city hall can be configured so we can maintain appropriate distances because trading comments on plans and specifications using this tool is going to be cumbersome at best yeah no and i and i understand i had to notice it as a for the ones that i've already noticed i had to notice it as a virtual meeting because yeah. I can't do that. I can always change the location and make it here. But right now we have city hall, like the commission room set up where we have yeah, like every third chair, you know what I mean? So the rest of the chairs have been removed out of the commission room. We're trying spacing with the commissioners to see how we can do it so that not everybody's on top of each other. So um, we're looking forward to that. And as soon as we get some more direction, that may be a possibility. The other thing is that what I will be able to do as we progress in our skill level for these Zoom meetings is I'll be able to use PowerPoint on here, which will actually be a little bit more helpful for that. And uh, one of the people that will be joining us will be the actual minute taker and it won't be me like it is tonight. Okay. Yeah, I would I would agree with uh, with Sheldon. I think as swimmingly as tonight has gone so far, it's going to be almost impossible when we have uh, plans that we're going to be you know dissecting a little bit more. Well, we're going to have a new house, and that's you know th that's going to bear some scrutiny uh, as it always does. Um, I will just keep in touch with you and keep circulating and, and everything, uh, so we do have an idea as to what uh, as to what's going to go on with that. Uh, and see see where we're at. I mean, a lot of it's going to be what the governor says. And the other thing is, too, is that realistically, uh, you know, the other considerations are is, A, do the applicants want to come in here into a crowd? Do the planning commissioners want to come in here to a crowd? And does the public? So um, which is the fairest and best way to do this? And again, you know, we'll be uh, discussing that with council as well. Well, I mean, Hank, I guess worst case, could we delay May and, and do it in June? I know that puts everybody 30 days behind, but I have to imagine we're going to be in a better place by the end of June than the end of May. No, I understand. The problem with the contractors and everybody that wants to come in is that they're already 30 days behind. Normally, they're in the ground by now. 
Oh, oh for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that, that applies to the whole world. <laughs> so, exactly. So, yeah. I think what is the date of the May Commission meeting? Because the fourth Monday falls on Memorial Night. Right. It's uh, the uh, May meeting is Tuesday, May 26th. Okay. Thank you. So what are, what are the rules about having another meeting kind of uh, not according to schedule? I mean, is that a possibility? Yeah, you can call a special meeting. It has to be uh, two members at the call of the chair. Uh, one other member, I believe. I'd have to check that. But we can do that if we want to break it up. If, if I get three more, then I would probably say let's break it up and have two four-item meetings or something like yeah, that. I think that would, seems um, like it would make it a lot easier. Well, it, it, it may. There's some, of the, some of the plans that are coming in um, are going to be fairly extensive and require some, you know, they'll require some, uh, you'll have questions. I, I just know that you will. And you should ask all the questions that you feel you need to and get all the responses that you feel you need to. So I think a lot of it's going to be whatever is fair. And then I'm going to quite honestly rely on Carol Rosati to tell me what is the fairest and best. Because if we say, let's have this meeting at City Hall and we don't have, um, you know, and then the, the proponents don't feel like they're safe coming in, then, you know, we have a problem. So I, we'll, we'll see and we'll follow what the best practice is at that point. Right. But that'll be, you'll, you'll know that within the next 10 days. I mean, this won't be a shock. You won't find out about it on the day you get your agenda. So what's, the set, what's the sense of the commission in terms of taking more plans or having an additional meeting? I could go either way with that. I'm fine with either. Yeah, agreed. I think uh, if it was, if we're going to try and do it in person, uh, I would rather just do one long one than twice the exposure, I think. Um, right. Yeah I, yeah, I think the first step is going to be, we, we got to figure out if we can do this in person. I just, I don't, I don't know how we do this that via Zoom. Is, is there an opportunity, Hank, and I know it's not ideal, but to use the rec center where there's a little more space to spread people out, us included, for a meeting? Yeah, I, you know, and again, um, you know, there's nine seats up there. There's not a lot of places I can spread you. Right. So, you know, I mean, the floors are like that, you know, so I, I would have to kind of uh, figure that out. I've got the audience part figured out, but yeah. the... The, but the commissioners, and uh, that's tough. Even if you go every other one, you're still not six feet. Right. Well, oh, Hank, I, that's actually a great idea. If we could use the gym, I mean, remember how big the crowd was for the uh, the uh, drag queen story time meeting, the city commission meeting. <laughs> yeah. We could, we could and spread and out. We all may of be the able community. to do. We we may be able to do that. Um, and if that's the case, then, you know, we could see about doing that right now. The live, the rec center is completely closed. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. but I might be able to open it up and have chairs and stuff put in down there. And can then just have like, here? uh, can we get video? I, I won't, I will not be able to get video there. That's the other issue. Okay. But you know, then again, we don't have it at the, at the library either when we have it there. So. Well, I, I'm guessing that someone over at the city has keys to the rec center. So even though it's locked up, I'm yeah, I got keys. To I mean, I can get us. I mean, I can get us in anywhere. It's just I, I won't be able to set up the, uh, you know, the video that we would normally do. Um, so, but we'll see what happens. I mean, we're we're a little ways away from that, but I expect continual emails and updates as to where we're headed with that. Can I ask, um, if I can interrupt, I, I'm just curious, like, is the concern about doing it over Zoom mostly just the ability to look at the plans and ask, because we can do, I don't know if Zoom does it, but I know like Google Meet and stuff have like an ability to share the screen. If we can get the, the plans electronically, we could put well, them we, up. We, do, we will have that capability. Normally, um, you know, like I, I tend to put them on PowerPoints. I can share the PowerPoint. Um, and people can look at that and the plans will be on that so that we'll be able to see it. So right. I can't do it with the Zoom technology. Why? It's just <laughs> Why? You can, you can share your screen with Zoom and you can just have them up on your screen. Well, I'm, you know, on, a, really I'm on the iPad. I'm, I'm on an iPad. 
okay, but I, I would think that one of us could share screens and have the plans well, up there. Right. There we, are we, ways around that. Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, there's ways around everything, obviously, because we're doing this. <laughs> so I would, um, yeah, I, I, th I think let's just see how it goes. But I mean, I just want to get a feeling as to whether you would prefer one meeting or obviously if you could do the in-person meeting at the gym, is that what you would prefer to do? Yeah. That would be my preference. I think, Sorry, I, think I would lean that way to doing one larger one if we have the space. Mm -hmm. And then okay. just extending it and getting everybody we can in. Mm -hmm. I think that probably that, makes more yeah. sense if we could do it. Is that good with everybody unless I'm told that we absolutely have to do it this way? Uh, is that what everybody would like to do? Yes. I think so, but I, I'm, I personally am not opposed to doing it over Zoom if we can. But I understand. I agree with Jill. I just, I, yeah, I just hate to sort of push it. Um, but I, you know, I'm well, I'm flexible. Well, why don't we just see, I mean, it, it appears that what I, the, the feeling that I'm getting from you all is that you're willing to accommodate. It's just how we're going to accommodate. But in some case, these people in May are not going to wait. That's what I'm getting from you guys. Is that correct? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I, I would say that, you know, now that I have this, uh, let me ask and let me ask around and see what it is. Uh, I'll check with the city attorney. I'll check with Amy and see what it is. I, I have no doubt that I can get us into the building down there and have a meeting there. That's not a problem unless I'm told by the city attorney that it's a problem and they recommend still video meetings. So, and I can change the location on notices. So that's not an issue. The, the only concern I would think would be if, if you have five different sets of plans and you have a lot of neighbors that want to come and either support or object, um, you know, making sure everybody, there isn't more than, you know, X number of people in the space, because I think there's probably still going to be restrictions on how many people can be in the same room together. So I would think that as a backup, exploring how to use sharing screen and stuff like that in zoom is probably a pretty good idea yeah we're, we're already doing that um but I'm, i want to get it on my computer not on this ipad which is all i have that works right now with this but, but i will get that figured out one way or another because if, if that turns out to be plan b that's not bad you know mm -hmm. Or if it turns out to be plan A, but I mean, in the meantime, we should be able to go either way. So, all right, I have that down. I have my questions for people, uh, the city attorney and seeing if we can do that without a problem. And uh, we will go from there. If, you know, if they extend this, uh, I mean, they said to the next is the middle of May, but if they extend it again, then we're gonna be visual, we're gonna be virtual meetings again. So here's a, here's a question, Hank. Yeah. Um, if, if we think that it is going to be extended, but that they're going to be opening up work to contractors, should we potentially try and schedule a meeting like maybe, again, if you have to do it Zoom, break it up and have like one maybe in two weeks and then one two weeks after that to allow these people a chance to get their plans out there and get approval and get their contractors going because like you said, they're already a month behind. Well, we would do two weeks. Again, I would have to notice, I have legal notice requirements. So some of the plans have already been noticed for the 26. So those would be on the 26. If new plans come in and we have those on the 28th or we have another meeting on the 28th then we could do that, um, but I still have to see that we have enough to do that. Uh, you, typically what happens is I've had, meet, I've had months where I've had seven, eight plans and then three fall off and I got my five, you know, or, you know, three fall off and I've got four uh, or they're missing stuff. You know, they turn it in and then I go through all the plans. Yeah, you're missing this, go change that. I mean, a lot of times plans go through two and three iterations before you see them and they're, good but they're still not great you know what i mean but they're at least workable at that point well let me suggest 
that we have a motion, which I'm willing to make, to waive the um, five plan limit for the May meeting, um, just in case we have to extend a longer meeting. Um, I, I don't know how hard, I don't know where that rule comes from. I don't know if that's- in, in It's the, the policy, it's in the bylaws and policies. Okay, well, I'd, I'd, I'd like to move that we waive that um, for the May meeting only. In, in either case, wherever or however the meeting yeah, is yeah. held. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we can deal with it if we do it another way. Mm -hmm. So, Hank, can we take that as a motion and vote? Yes, you can take that as a motion. We need a second for it and then a motion and then a vote. Anybody for a second? Second. All in favor? David, right? That was David, yeah. yeah. Okay. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Okay. Okay, so we have that. So at least we, we know we can do that and then we'll figure out the rest. All right. Uh, anybody have anything else, questions, comments or anything for me or? I don't think so. It looks like a couple other people hopped on. So I was gonna open public participation again. Okay. Anybody that just joined have anything they wanna say? Okay, hearing none, we'll close partic public participation. Anything else from anybody around the uh, chair? Okay, looking for a motion to adjourn. So moved. I second. second. Blake, that was Blake. Yes. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Okay. Uh, all right, thanks Hank. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. We'll Thanks. wait to hear from you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Thanks, everyone. Right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.